Hey everybody, it's JP from BigSexyBeast.com and I am here in the tundra at uh, one of my absolutely favorite spots and the reason it's one of my absolutely favorite spots is into the road confluence of two rivers and uh, gonna do probably just one night here maybe two uh, scouts over here chilling out we're just getting set up getting the fire started I think there may be some rain tonight and uh, we're gonna kind of see what uh, what sort of adventure we can get into we might even try the new Tinkara ride down here in the uh, the river if I can figure out how to get scout to not try to be this trout and take the fly uh, all right everybody stay tuned let's see where we go so tonight for dinner I'm gonna go uh, pretty simple backpacker style I've got uh, some New England corn chowder from uh, Good To Go, this backpacking company up in Maine, where you just add hot water to it, it's really good. I've got some of uh, Patagonia Provisions wild sockeye salmon um, to kind of go with it. And so I'm just gonna boil up some water in the jet boil, uh, put the clam chowder in the, uh, uh, the thermal jar there, probably throw in a slice of cheese and let it set for about 20 minutes or so and eat the salmon on the side. So I'm gonna start by getting some uh, water here in the jet boil from the creek. One of the best parts about this spot is this water is coming straight off the, uh, the mountain. It is so clean. Uh, there's nothing but federal wilderness land up above us, um, stream-wise. And so for cooking, I always come down here and, uh, and just get some water in the jet boil right from the creek and uh, use that for, uh, for cooking. Uh, but this area is just a beautiful part of the United States. I'd say for years I'd gotten away from the backpacking meals and had started uh, using the partner stove and cooking, kind of, you know, full on cooking style. But I've kind of went back here recently uh, to the backpacking meals and um, kind of like it because it really just. It's super, super simple, uh, and it makes cleanup an absolute breeze. I've been doing a lot in one of these thermal jars. It's this one's from Mir. It's Patagonia Provisions, but it's the company's Mir, uh, M-I-I-R. And the cool thing is, is you just put you know whatever you want in here. You add boiling water to it, and uh, and then the cleanup is you know a snap. You add the boiling water, you put the lid back on, and it sets for you know however long. And stay hot for hours. I've taken them hiking and uh, had it stay hot for a few hours. Uh, but the nice thing in is, you know, you set for 20, 30 minutes while you're building the fire, whatever the case may be. And, uh, and when you're ready to eat it, you take the lid off and it's hot. It just kind of cooks itself. And it means that on this jet boil, I can boil water in about three minutes, pour it in here, and um, Go do other stuff, and then when I'm ready to eat, dinner's done. And then to clean up, you just add a little bit of hot water back, put the lid on it, let it soak for a little bit, shake it, and you're good to go. Um, and so I'm enjoying the simplicity of that. I'm gonna put a piece of cheese in here, though. Put the boiling water in on top of the cheese, so that cheese melts all through that clam chowder. I've got some uh, spicy habanero and tequila-infused uh, cheddar cheese that I'm gonna put a slice in. Fridge. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys the uh, the fridge here in the tundra. Um, so I think when I did the review, I talked about the wind doors here on the camper shell that fold up. So well, I just mounted my uh, my little fridge right here inside, and uh, makes it really easy to get into. You can also access it from the inside as well. You probably saw that Bud Light in there. I normally am not a Bud Light guy, but my uh, my buddy Wheeler is. And I brought him some Bud Light. Um, he's out here in the forest somewhere, but I haven't found him yet. Deer Creek is the name of this cheese, if you can find it. And if you like spicy stuff, it, um, as I mentioned, it's infused with habanero and tequila, and it is very hot. I love spicy food, and it is crazy hot. 
Uh, but now I've just got that, uh, wherever the camera's at, clam chowder in there and the, or corn chowder and the cheese. And we'll add some boiling water to that in just a second and it will start its marination. A little pomegranate juice here while, uh, while we're waiting. just in case. Seems like the right thing to do. Oh, we got boiling water. This jet boil is crazy fast. And I noticed that there's a new model now that'll boil a half a liter of water in 100 seconds. It's like a minute and a half, it's crazy. Add a little bit more water. I like it a little bit more soupy. And that's it. Dinner's cooking. I shake it a couple times, turn it upside down because obviously the lid doesn't hold as heat as well as this part does. And uh, seems to work real well. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. This fire ring at this campsite's a bit of a mess. I picked up a bunch of trash out of it, but uh, I need to take my shovel and kind of dig it out and um, uh, redo it. I have to do that a couple times a year because I come back to this spot a lot. Scott and I uh, definitely like this spot very secluded like i said it's right at the federal wilderness border and it's the end of the road uh, so we always have this place to ourselves that we can get it uh, it's starting to green back out here in the forest a lot but we've done christmas here we've done thanksgiving here haven't we scout uh, i have to find i think i did some video of thanksgiving uh several years ago maybe i'll find it and make an old video of uh of that my uh, pomegranate and tequila in my dirty coffee cup. Fantastic. Our temperature here has uh, been all over the place. It was really cold two nights ago. Last night was in the mid 50s, not bad at all. Today started out pretty cold, but I want to say it got up in the mid 60s. Um, and as you can see, I'm wearing the Patagonia now. It, um, it's starting to get cool again, but I don't think tonight's supposed to be too bad. Uh, so I guess we'll see. But uh, the weather seems to be all over the place. I'm gonna try to put my uh, my deer camera out tonight across the creek up there and uh, see if I can catch some coyotes or, uh, or something on the deer camera. I'll, if I do, I'll work that into the video somehow. Well, I'm waiting on that uh, corn chowder to um, soak in that hot water. It occurred to me, I'm not sure I've ever showed you guys the uh, the inside of the tundra that's set up there. So I, uh, I keep uh, these tundra fire extinguishers in about every door. I've actually had to use one once and uh, they worked really good. Um, right now I've got a just a bin here. I've got the seats folded up, which I didn't think I was going to like at first with the tundra, but I really do now. Um, I've got some dry foods in here, some snacks and stuff like that. I got these seat back uh, Molly, Molly panels from uh, Blue Ridge Overland Gear. And I really like them. They've made their organization in here uh, really, really good. Um, so down here at the bottom, that's got an extra headlamp, some charging cables, things like that. I've got a K-bar stuck in behind it there, a little uh, pocket knife that I can get easy access to. That brass thing hanging there is actually a lighter, it's sort of like a Zippo. In this molly pack here, on one side I've got a trauma pack uh, with bandages, quick clots, stuff like that. On the other side I've got meds, um, uh, another light there, a hook where you can hang your keys, uh, a couple of ornamental things. This uh, this guy is pretty cool, this little Spartan uh, Molanabe guy. I got him off of uh, eBay. 
guy in the Philippines cast those, it's metal. And it goes on the molly straps, which is pretty cool. Keep a pin there. Uh, got my uh, my Wookie research team uh, patch, because uh, you never know when you're gonna need that. Um, over on the other side, stuck in behind there, um, I have my Tinkara rod, all important uh, wipes. And I think those are dude wipes in that bottom, uh, bottom pack there. Uh, this guy is a a really cool um, uh, thing that uh, Sarah got me for Christmas this past year. It's VSSL, and inside of it, it has all sorts of different little survival things, from candles to fishing hooks to fishing line to a wire saw, uh, kind of that what used to be in the old Rambo knives kind of thing. An LED flashlight on this side, and a Sunto compass on the other side, which is really nice. Um, and then patch-wise over there, I've got my BigSexyBeast.com uh, patch. I've got a uh, I'm Your Huckleberry uh, patch from uh, Tombstone. And then uh, in honor of my brother there, uh, I've got the Navy Special Forces guy in the bomb suit saying, if you see me running, try to keep up. Um, he, uh, that was kind of one of his favorite things. And then inside, I've got my Max Tracks with me this time, just kind of propped in there. Uh, Patagonia black hole duffel with all my clothes and some of that kind of stuff drone and everything and then the uh, game camera that we're gonna put out later tonight probably Across that creek there. I don't know. We might do it down here by the water um, uh, Somewhere over in here, uh, but I'm very curious to see what kind of animals are coming up at night after I go to sleep I think I talked about this silverware pack maybe in the uh the update video. I got it off Amazon. It's pretty cool. It's a uh, uh, fork, spoon, knife, uh, two metal straws, and a little cleaner for the straws, and a little carrying case, uh, which is uh, it's like seven, eight bucks or something. And it was turned out really cool. Let's see what we got here. It actually, smells like clam chowder. I think it has smoked fish in it. See if we've uh, let it marinate long enough. Ooh, spicy. I don't know if it's spicy because of that cheese or if it's just spicy, uh, but it's good. And it's got, uh, definitely has the texture of a, of a clam chowder. I think it's mostly corn based, but it does have smoked fish in there. Um, It tastes like a clam chowder with corn in it. It's really good. I'm gonna go over here and eat, and um, and I'll catch back up with you guys later. All right, gang. Now comes the really complex task of washing dishes. Got some water that's uh, boiling here in the jet boil. I'm gonna take that. Pour it into our vacuum food bowl here. Stir it a little bit to uh, start to clean up our spoon. Let's put our lid back on our food boil bowl. Boil. Give it some shakes. Let it sit there for a minute. Wipe down our spoon, put it away, and this will set here for uh, five, ten minutes, twenty if I get distracted. I'll come back, clear out the wastewater, give it a wipe, and we're done. And so that's again one of the reasons that I'm kind of liking the simple approach to cooking. Um, and the food's really good too, and uh, super easy to set up and clean. Very little fuel used in cooking. In total now, I've run the jet boil about six minutes. Um, so I can get uh, 42 minutes out of a canister of fuel, I think. So quite a few, pretty efficient uh, way to go about things. I've got a big thermal jar like this. It's like a crock pot. Um, and we actually do crock pot meals in it where you put everything in, you bring it to a boil, close it all up, you leave, go on a trail run or, run or whatever. And you come back eight hours later and it's still 170 degrees inside there and uh, it's cooked like a crock pot. So 
check out these uh, vacuum food canisters. Um, they're pretty awesome. So just so you can see, you can still see some steam coming off that, but I've just cleared out the wastewater. Look at that. And then now I can just uh, wipe it down. And um, again, like I said, it's very simple, very easy, very sanitary too, because I just cleaned it out with boiling water. So I don't have to worry about any foodborne illness either. I'm, uh, I'm liking it. I think it is a great way to live simply while overlanding. Less dishes. That's mainly what I'm about is less dishes. The other thing I should mention too is uh, that is the ent entire extent of how much space it takes up in my drawers. That's the whole jet boil system. The fuel canister fits inside. The burner fits inside. It's also a French press too. And the food jar. Two of them together. Um, for reference there, you can see the size of my hand. Tiny space. Maybe two pounds of weight. And so when space and weight are a premium, which they always are when you're living in a vehicle, um, it's a good way to go.
There's home. Obviously, we got to get him to move his big butt over onto his bed so that we can get onto ours. But uh, it ends up being plenty of room for both of us. I'll show you once we get inside. All right, Scott and I are laying down fairly early tonight because we've got some uh, Netflix nature series downloaded on the uh, iPad. Then we're going to chill out and uh, watch a couple series on the iPad and get a good night's sleep. Get up in the morning and I am going to try to go Tinkara fly fishing. Scout here is going to try to stay away from the fly rod and, uh, and not try to eat it. So, anyway, um, good day today. Uh, pretty laid back. Um, weather's pretty nice, actually. It's going to be pretty nice tonight. So, very curious to see if we get anything on the, uh, the game camber tonight. I put it out, actually ended up putting it out right out in front of the tundra. Shooting back down the road here. And so... Don't really hurt a lot of animals in this space, so we'll see what uh, what we end up catching on the camera, if anything. In case you're curious, what I do with uh, clothes and things like that at night, that overhead cargo net over there on that side of the A-frame, just underneath the shelf, has worked out fantastically for keeping clothes and layers and things like that up out of the way. Um, and the floor inside here within the camp are clear. Um, underneath it is uh, the three and a half gallon water container and the fridge. There's Mr. Scout. Um, but that's, uh, that's worked out really nice. And I uh, started hanging that headlamp back there as well. We always know where it's at, it's easy to get to. And plus I can turn on the red light and have light in here to do tasks and things like that without messing up my night vision. So uh, that's been a pretty good setup. Good morning, everyone. Looks like a beautiful day. I'm very curious to see if we uh, were able to catch anything on the game camera. All right, I think we're gonna have a little change of plans this morning. We were going to uh, try to fish a little bit with the tin car fly rod, but it's starting to rain. So I think we're just going to explore a little bit around uh, through some of the uh, forestry service roads in the mountains here. And uh, I'm just going to have a look around, see if we can see maybe some uh, wildlife that's starting to move with the rain. Very much looks like a rainforest this morning pretty wet forest to begin with, but it definitely looks kind of dark and rainy today. Thanks everybody for uh, tuning in. Uh, Scott and I are just going to adventure around and explore a bit more here. And we hope you enjoyed uh, this short little episode. If uh, you're not already, I'd invite you to become a subscriber to the channel. Oh, it's a little bumpy. And uh, hit that bell icon so you get notifications when we uh, post new videos. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, you're always welcome to visit store.bigsexybeast.com. Store.bigsexybeast.com. And check out our patches and stickers um, as another way to support the channel. Thanks, everybody, for the time. And uh, stay safe.